talk a lot about progress on this podcast. And recently I was asked about gamification and how it relates to progress. And I shared just a little insight on a few ways that you may be able to incentivize progress with gamification. So I wanted to share that clip with you today. Curious about some of the tips and ideas for some challenges or games to keep my members in my membership. This is the Animal Art Club Drawing School Engaged and Motivated and Increased Retention Rate. So this is a really great question. I will just preface because I always do. All of the tactics are like throwing spaghetti against a wall unless we focus on those foundational principles that I teach in my framework, right? The cause, culture, communication, and connection. If we don't have those things right, then everything else is like maybe temporarily going to give you a boost in engagement because people are commenting on a post, but it's not really lasting connection and change in your group. So definitely go back to those principles. But once you do, I have a list of over 77 different creative connection ideas for your community. At, if you go to connectionideas.com, you can download that list, 77 plus creative ideas. What I want to share with you all at a deeper level is what are the core skills and habits that are going to get them the result? We don't ever want to have engagement just for the sake of engagement. The, the goal is actually progress for our members. The goal is for them to get better at drawing animals. And I think maybe you did it with pastels or something like that. I can't remember. But the goal is to get them to be better at that skill. So we don't want to just think about engagement. We want to think about like, what are those core skills that they need to master? What are the habits that they need? And how can we motivate them to do those things? How can we reinforce that action and recognize it? I call that the progress wheel, but basically like we motivate them to do the thing. They do the thing. We shine a spotlight on it. We're like, yes, yes, yes. Look at Sally who did X, Y, and Z. Sally, you're amazing. Like, let's celebrate her. Why? Because that feeling releases like good vibes in us and makes us want to do action again. And it makes other people want to do action so that they get a pat on the back too. So we have to think about it in that way. So when I think about like for your drawing club, I think about things like before and after type submissions and challenges, but really specific. Like this is before I did the nose training, like the dog nose or whatever. And this is the same drawing, but after I've done the dog nose training and there's like incentives and prizes around people who work on noses that week and post their before and after of noses. You could even do some community related types of challenges or games like for example where it's like you have like a feedback frenzy week or something and everybody posts a piece of art that they want feedback on and basically like you're going to pull out all throughout the week you're going to be doing random drawings and giveaways uh, by looking at people who are providing feedback to other people inside of the group that's kind of a thing that you can do to support engagement in the group and that kind of feedback you could do something around the habit of drawing so you could do like a 15 minute a day challenge and have like a bingo board or something for them. And it's like when they put their sticker on each of the, like I did my 15 minutes today. And if they get to the end of two weeks or a week or a whole month, if you want, they've completed that 15 minute a day challenge and they get some type of prize or something like that. So I think there's lots of things that you can do, but I just wanted to share with you specifically like how you always want it to be tied toward those core skills and the habits that will get them the result. So hopefully that's good ideas. I also thought too, this is kind of random, but do you remember in school when you used to do like those trains of stories where one person would write like three words and then like the next person would write like the next three words and then it would all come together and make like one story. So I kind of thought of like a Picasso's type animal painting where you have like some people that are doing like the nose and some people doing the ears and some people doing that and it's and you can even have them like mail it to each other and then it gets mailed around and then they add to it and then you create these like community pieces of art. I don't know, that felt like fun.